Thanks again for agreeing to do this. Oh, it's cool. I've never been on a podcast before. Well, you picked a good one to start. We'll set lots of great guests. Jonathan Frakes, Brent Spiner, Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden. Those are Star Trek people. Yes. I only figured that out because I never heard of any of them. <laughs> I deserve that. I invited you on my show and I drove here. Okay, so this is basically gonna be just like a little talk show. Uh, we're gonna take some calls, we'll talk about what it was like on the set of Serial Apist 2. It should be really fun. This is exciting. Yeah, so how many people listen? Most people download it later, but usually a few thousand people listen live. What? A few thousand people listen to you talk about nerd stuff? <laughs> Again, right in the ears, straight to the feelings. <laughs> I started to suspect it was a bad movie when I looked at the script and saw the title. <laughs> Serial Apis 2, Monkey See, Monkey Kill. Uh, spoiler alert, after the monkey sees, it kills. <laughs> I've just been handed a note. I'm going to read it. Will, do you want more Diet Coke? <laughs> also, we have juice. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> uh, that voice you just heard belongs to Leonard, Penny's fiance. Uh, Leonard, why don't you grab some headphones and join us? Really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, great. <laughs> so uh, while Leonard gets set up, let's take a call. Hello, caller. You are on with Penny and Will from Serial Apis 2. I, I don't have a question. I just want to say I'm a big fan of the movie. I've seen it like 10 times. OK, well, I'll apologize for the first time, but the other nine are on you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, caller. You know that the movie actually has a little bit of a cult following. Really? Yeah, I was at a science fiction convention and I saw a woman dressed as your half-ape character. Oh, uh, if she was with an Indian guy dressed like a banana, that was just my friends Howard and Raj. <laughs> All right, it's time for a very special guest caller, a friend of mine who you probably know as the director of such movies as Clerks or from podcasts and books where he often reminds you that he's the guy who directed Clerks. <laughs> Hello, Kevin Smith. Hey, man, yo, is everything okay, Will? Because it's been like two minutes and you haven't even brought up Stand By Me. Hey, Kevin, it's really exciting to talk to you. Yeah, it really is. Oh, you guys are very sweet. So, Penny, listen, I saw your movie. Oh, wow, I, I wish it was better. Oh, don't worry about it. Have you seen some of Kevin's films? <laughs> You're cruising for a beating, Wheaton. <laughs> Anyway, man, I dug the eight movie, Penny, and I thought you were, like, really great in it. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm in the movie, too. Yeah, whatever. Penny! <laughs> Penny, how come you're not in more stuff, man? I'd cast you in a minute. Seriously? Oh, yeah, man. I'm actually in pre-production on a movie right now. Way different than anything I've ever done before. It's called Clerks 3. <laughs> you should come over and read for a part. Oh, my God. I would love that. You have a new job. Well, maybe I could do both. I don't think you can do both. I don't think I asked you. Yeah, you tell him, Penny. Stay out of it, Kevin Smith. So for those of you just tuning in, we are listening to a really fun fight between no, my co no, 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 we're not fighting. We're just having a conversation. All right. We're listening to a really fun conversation between my co-star from Serial Apis 2 and her fiance who doesn't believe women should have dreams. <laughs> Back that juice. What is the harm if I audition? Well, what if you get it? I don't know. I make a movie. We could become rich and famous, win an Oscar, a Golden Globe, and live an incredibly wonderful life. From a Kevin Smith movie. <laughs> Hang it up now. Don't you listen to him, buddy. You're awesome. You're one of the greatest directors of our time. I don't have a part for you, Wheaton. And that was Kevin Smith. 